of our other mission statements is that we support Israel. And as many of you know, we've been working on something called HCR 10 that Mike Goldstein has been leading the way with uh, his work with proclaiming justice to the nations and he's going to probably give you a quick update right now. Hey folks, it's great to have a, a bill we can talk about that's really going someplace. Um, we've been working on some others very hard for a long time that don't seem to be going anyplace. Uh, as you know, I'm the Ohio State Director for Proclaiming Justice to the Nations, an evangelical Christian group with a mission statement of um, educating Christians as of their biblical duty to support and defend Israel, the Jewish state, and Jews around the world, particularly here in America. Uh, one of the things we do is we got 47 videos out there. Uh, Lori Cardoza Moore, our founder, spoke here. And if you go on pjtn.org, you can order them and buy them. They all talk about Israel, Jews, and Christianity. They're very important. Um, one of the other things we do is work on legislation. This particular resolution in the Ohio, Ohio House, Ohio, uh, House Concurrent Resolution 10, concurrent meaning the Senate will concur in this bill, has three points. Um, some of you probably picked up this uh, spreadsheet on one side, talking points on the other side. Um, get it out. If you don't have one, please make sure you get one from somebody who has two. One per family if you can do it. There may be still some more on the table. It's very important and we need your help now. Three points to this bill, really. The first point is that it uh, is a pro-Israel point. It uh, proclaims the, the uh, feeling of the Ohio General Assembly and the people of the state of Ohio that Israel can be a secure state within its own borders. It has self-determination. It has the right uh, to uh, legitimate acts of self-defense and many other things that are in the bill in favor of Israel. Uh, it's an anti-BDS bill. BDS we've talked about in the past. It's the economic warfare worldwide against the state of Israel with the goal of eliminating the state of Israel entirely, our ally and the only democratic country in the Middle East. Um, so B is boycott Israeli goods. D is divest from any, um, any investment in the state of Israel or with American firms that do business with Israel, like Caterpillar, like our defense contractors. And S is sanctions against the state of Israel. There is a huge BDS movement on campus with groups such as, and they're, they're you know, student groups like any other student group, Students for Justice in Palestine, the Muslim Students Association, and what they do is disrupt uh, Jewish meetings, pro-Israel meetings, and they do it by harassment and personal intimidation and yelling and screaming, and they're pretty successful at it. And that's why I say that this is not just a Jewish problem, although it is that, and a Christian problem, because it's Christian students who are trying to help the Jewish students who are also harassed. But it's an American problem. What these people are doing is trying to shut down free speech on campus for Jewish students and their organizations, and in many places they're very successful. So they are the purveyors of anti-Semitism on campus, and they're very good at that. They're teaching American students to go the wrong way. And uh, a lot of it, when you read the details, sounds like Germany in the 1930s. And everything the legislature wants to say Israel is entitled to, BDS against. Thanks, Greg. Um, okay. So the third part of this, oh, the second part is Jewish students should feel safe on campus, should be able to have their events. Okay. The third part is a very strong uh, pro-First Amendment freedom of speech section saying that to college administrators, we urge you to permit free speech by everyone on campus and we also urge you very strongly to take disciplinary action against anyone who would shut down free speech on campus, whether they be administrators, faculty, staff, or students. Okay. Now, what you're going to hear, what I'm going to want you to do is to contact the members of the committee that's going to vote on this. And um, this is the Ohio House Government Accountability and Oversight Committee. Write or email the Chairman Blessing. All their contact information is on here. If you happen to be uh, in the district of one of the other people, call that person, or just call them at random. 
even if you're not in their district. The only thing that the other side happens to talk about is freedom of speech, and it's called mirror imaging. What they say is that this, this resolution is part of a national conspiracy to shut down the free speech rights of Muslims who support Palestinian rights. And I say it's mirror imaging because you never see Jewish students trying to shut down a Muslim group's meetings or clubs or speakers. But the courtesy is not returned because that's what the Muslims do on campus. They shut our people down. So when you're talking, there's some talking points on the back. You can talk about that and you should also tell the legislator that they may hear that this is an anti-free speech bill, but look at the provision in HCR 10. It's the strong, strongest free speech provision that I've seen in a statute yet, so, or a resolution. So, what I want you to do, here, here's the history. We've had, we've had proponent testimony already before this committee, and we've had sponsor testimony by the sponsor, Andy Thompson, Representative Andy Thompson, and Representative Dave Greenspan from Westlake. And, and it's going to be scheduled probably within the next 10 days for another hearing. And this is going to be for anybody who wants to testify, which means there will be opposition testimony, where we will probably have CARE and the Muslim Students Association and Students for Justice in Palestine and the American Civil Liberties Union and possibly the Southern Poverty Law Center who are going to want to get up there and talk against this bill, saying that it's an anti-free speech bill tell the members of this committee they'll probably hear that kind of criticism and it is just baloney. So that's where we are. We may contact you and ask you to flow into Columbus and fill up the hearing room and fill up the overflow room where you watch it on video just to show your support for the bill. But I want to thank you and uh, we couldn't do it without you guys.